everyone. It is Coach Maggie. Happy Labor Day weekend. Hope you are enjoying yourself. Um, I grew up in Los Angeles, and every January, just about growing up, it seems like we would get all this rain, and the homes, these expensive homes that were built on the hills and canyons surrounding Los Angeles, over the ocean, all these different places, they would just be, you know, just sliding down because that rain would come along and it would cause the soil to absorb and then these homes that were built on stilts would start to slide and it was always sad because these were not just regular homes these were mansions multi-million dollar homes and they were literally starting to slide down these hills and in some cases again into deep canyons and of course us regular folk were like, why would you build your house there? There's so many other places with amazing views of the Pacific Ocean, of the beautiful canyons, and yet they wanted their homes in these pristine spots. You know, a lot of times we are building our home on really shaky ground. Maybe we're building it on a career. Maybe we're building it on popularity. We're building it on, look at this family I have. We're building it on all kinds of things. But unfortunately, if that foundation is not solid, it is going to crumble at some point. You know, this year we've had so many weird, bizarre uh, natural phenomena. We've had the fires in Canada and Hawaii. We've had tornadoes. We've had hurricanes in strange places like California. We've had all of these different things, flooding, and again, it just shows how shaky and unpredictable life is, our world is. And so our foundation needs to be on something so very solid, and that's on Jesus. Several years ago, my husband and I were wanting to tile our kitchen and hallway and bathrooms. And one of our neighbors who's amazing at anything hands-on like that was helping us. And we couldn't see it, but he could tell that there was one place where the kitchen uh, fed into the hallway that it was, it was a, there was a slight rise. And he said that we were going to need to go under the house, not we, he, and someone with him. And they jacked up just that area because the foundation was fine everywhere else, but that one place there was a weakness. And don't you know, wherever there's a weakness in our life, that's when the pressure comes. That's where we're going to crack. And he said, if we don't fix that, every time you walk across that one area over time, eventually those ceramic tiles are going to crack. And again, a lot of times we tend to say, it doesn't show. Nobody's going to notice. But the wear and tear of life are going to eventually cause a problem. It's going to cause a breakdown. Too many of us are living with a either a poor foundation completely or a foundation that seems to be solid, but yet there's some cracks. There's some places where we need to invite the Lord to help make it solid. So then we can build up from there. In my course, Restore Your Health Academy. It's about making sure we have that solid foundation. And then we build up. Because when we try to just improve our health, improve our mental well-being, we can do it for a while. We can sustain it for a while. But over time, the wear and tear, those unexpected things that we didn't plan, those can come along and start to cause cracks. And let's face it, we can see when we start getting those cracks, again, it's a weak spot. And then that's where the pressure will start to cause things to crumble. So maybe you feel like, hey, I'm doing good. I'm doing fine. Make sure, take time, spend time. That's what I love about Sundays, uh, having that Sabbath, that time to slow down and take a look at how life is going for you this week, 
this month, this past month, and really reflect on what is going on in your life. Because too often we don't really pay attention. We don't notice until there is a definite crack and we see the, the leaking, we see the problems. But you know what? There was that hairline fracture for a long time before it literally gave way. So again, take time to go through, take time to really reflect how is your spiritual foundation? Is it strong? Does it need some support? What about your health? Are there areas where you need, again, that added support? You need that reinforcement? What about your mental health? Do you find yourself, you know, getting um, overwhelmed easily? And you see, if you really were honest, you see that something's going on and you need to deal with it. Check out that resource. And again, take time to reflect on how things are going. We don't tend to do that near enough. So I want to invite you to do that. And again, also check out that resource. And this week, as we are getting into Jan uh, January, as we're getting into September, you know, fall is here. And this is an amazing time to really see what is the next step for us. So as always, take care and God bless.